guys are new, welcome back, welcome back, I'm Louis Hong. Everyone say hello to Dashi, hello Dashi. Comment, like, and subscribing is a free way to help support the channel. Non-free ways are Patreon and smashing that thanks button down below, super chats as well. So this is a pretty exciting day. I haven't had a, uh, a, a chance to really look at a ton of the interview. VV Vibes, shout out to him, was the one that recorded that uh, David Yu interview from my stream. Uh, and then just, just uploaded it, because I if I would have done I still... If he would have said that to me, it still wouldn't have been uploaded by now. It still would have just been uh, in, in the ether or whatever. Uh, I, I do, He did record the last 18 minutes of that as well. I'll probably get to that at some point. A uh, little bit of recap. Uh, Omi did outperform Bitcoin and Ethereum on the day. And we did. We were outperforming all the S&P, the, the Dow, and the NASDAQ uh, during the day. But then later in the day, uh, the volume just continued to go down. Or the volume still went up, but the price of Omi still had to go down. So we wound up not outperforming them throughout the day. But we still did outperform the other two. I'm not sure what other cryptos we had. But speaking of other cryptos, we did place second in a Paul Barron uh, poll. It was between us, Sandbox, Gala, and something else. The other something else got like no votes. Saying like, you know, they're saying like, which is the best out of all four of these. And, and again, the other something else that came in fourth place, I had no idea who they were. Sandbox, I'm surprised they had put Sandbox in outside of Decentraland. Because Decentraland's mana, I think, is deflationary, and the Sandbox, I don't think, is. Even though Sandbox does have a lot more partnerships, there are a lot more people that are active on Sandbox than there are on Decentraland. Uh, a lot more partnerships, so I guess that does make sense. We did uh, beat Sandbox in that poll, but Gala had more votes than us. And I'm not going to lie, I don't know too much about Gala. I know it's a lot of gaming and be really cool, but if we're talking about gaming, more bullish on a Mutable X chain than, than pretty much anything. Am I more bullish on Amiable X, the token price, as opposed to anything else? No. Um, if Omi wasn't a thing, I still might, I, I would still probably buy an Amiable X. It's just, they're very, very top heavy. You know, they, they have a ton of uh, tokens that haven't been unlocked yet. I'm, I can't say what that is for Gala, but uh, Paul Barron Network basically had a title. Actually, I'll show you what that is right now. Uh, the title was wicked awesome. Let's find out. It was... <laughs> Q3 Metaverse and NFT Gaming Report. Dark days ahead. Except Omi, huh? Um, so he does he does list right now Omi as a Metaverse token. It is in his portfolio or the Paul Barron Network's portfolio. Uh, as his personal one, probably. Pro probably more so that than anything else. Um, you know, he's had Kyle Wilson on, on there a bunch of times. Shout out to Kyle Wilson. He brought up my super chat just saying that, yeah, there's, there's a ton of support. I went over it yesterday saying that there was about... 30 million at once, uh, Omi, that was just dumped, and it just got bought right back up. It, it, it went down to like 0 0.001195, whatever it is. All of that just got bought right back up because there are so many buy orders. The, be advised, guys, if you're waiting for a smaller amount, have those buy orders cooked in. And I get it. A lot of people don't want to do that because, oh, I don't want to leave my... USDT on an exchange. What if the exchange goes under? And yeah, fair point. I, I get that. I, I mean, if you, what are you more worried about? Are you more worried about Bit4X or Sendex going under? Or are you more worried about saving that extra, you know, five or 10% that, that you could get? I, I, for me, if it was just me and Dashi, like Dashi, just, just, just man the fudge up and just buy that Omi right now. Right now, Dashi. You know, not financial advice to any of you, just what I'm telling Dashi. Um, but Dashi knows. Dashi's a good doggo. <laughs> and uh, and the reason why is because, again, you could have those buy orders set, which a lot of, a lot of my wells do, and it, it will touch a certain amount, and it, you're not going to have time to, like, oh, okay, now I'll transfer everything and set it up. You're just not going to have time. Um, or the order won't fill. The orders, other orders will have been filled by the time you try to get in, most likely. Again, not financial advice. Um, but a, a, lot, a lot of other wells are just accumulating very small amounts each day, a couple thousand here, 10,000 there, whatever. Uh, in other news, what else was I going at? I, I forget what I titled this video. I'm going to go on Twitter and, <laughs> and take a look at that. Uh, we've got, okay, yep, uh, bringing down some of David Yu's interesting quotes. Oh, yeah, so Dave, David Yu was not too, I, he was more nervous than happy when when he said, when we had told him, me and FanBam said that there are 300 plus people. Go, I, honestly, so there are 300 plus people that just we know that are going. There are a bunch of people that we know that don't have Twitter, that don't have Discord, don't have Telegram. There's probably going to be 500 people at there. So I mean, not maybe not all at the same time, but at the event, if they're, if they're not there at VIP event on Friday, excuse me, they will definitely be there on Saturday. 
and you're 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 looking at David, the reason why David was so like crestfallen about that was because he has to go and you know they they wanted to put on an after party and unfortunately there are, I don't know of any venues outside of like an open field where <laughs> which has its own problems where where you can go and and roll in 400 deep or or 200 deep so but be advised guys just the after party just the after oh, I can't remember if I could say that we're still 4 weeks out and and there's there's so many people that are going and and that's just of the unofficial after party on Friday which not everyone the unofficial after party will have 200 plus people there and there's going to be people that be turned away there's many people that haven't are that haven't messaged. Uh, I um, I don't I don't even know if I can say it. Um, if you go and Mister MC One is trying to do an after party from ten to whenever, you know Sanjay Mister MC One dot ETH over on Twitter. Um, be advised, guys, it's a very 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 big list and. I don't know if he even has a a venue booked. Um, if if you want to go, and you are going to go, let him know because if you <laughs> yeah there it is Sanjay, uh, Mr MC One dot is it dot ETH or underscore ETH? I think it's dot ETH, right? Well, let's take a look on the Twitter. Me- message him because it if you message him like two days prior or even a week prior, or even next week, you might not even go. Yeah, it's Mr MC One underscore ETH. Um, you might not even be able to go cause just because it, it's impossible. Again, unless, unless we go and we say, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go into like a field or something. Um, also, if everyone could smash that like button, that's a free way to help support channels. Smash it, smash it. Okay, sorry. Moving on here. Oh, and the other things that I had to after. So, so that's why David kind of was freaking out about that because the official after party. Even if you rent out a bowling alley, let's say a bowling alley has, let's say, let's say 16 pairs of lanes, let's say there's 32 pairs, uh, or 32, you know, that's, that that's all, let's say even there's four people on each lane, that's still not a lot. Let's say after 32, is one, there's 128, so there's 100, only 120 people, and that's, and that's a full bowling alley, and that's four people bowling on each uh, karaoke, there's, there's no, no bar is going to be able to take us. I, I honestly think that for that Saturday, we're probably going to have to all vote and be like, okay, there is a two block radius where there's these five bars and we'll go in like 80 deep on each bar. We can't even do that. That's so wild to imagine. Vivi, Vivi, everyone's going to know Vivi by the end of this weekend. Um, some of the other things that we had going on is David going over those A-tier lenders. I mentioned this in a video before. I'd asked David, if you, if you haven't seen the video, don't, don't worry about it, although it's a pretty good video. I do say so myself. David had mentioned on my stream that he was within a day or so of signing another big licensor. And I was, and I asked him, I was like, okay, David, you, you know, you have a big licensor that so you're signing in the next couple days. And when he was on Metaverse Life's and uh, VV Magic's Twitter space, like a week ago, he had mentioned that he had just signed two more big licensors. And I was like, okay, well, what, what is big? Is it like a C tier where there's like, you know, they have 500,000 followers on like Twitter or Instagram, or they're like B tier with a couple million, or like A tier where they have 50 million plus. And he said, oh yeah, no, these, these are all, all three are A t- tier A plus. I was like, oh my God. So all, the, and, and assuming there's some overlap, 50 million followers each, you know, for, for each of those is absolutely bananas. I don't know what they are. Could be Game of Thrones. Uh, could be something with like Rocky. Could be something with like I don't know, like Alien vs Predator. I mean, it, it, I was gonna say Lord of the Rings, but they just uh, launched one of their NFT platforms, um, which I, I don't even know what chain it is. I don't, I don't know how well it's gonna do. It's cool. Um, apparently, people who like it, or who, apparently people that really like Lord of the Rings, they, they, it's it, it's cool. Uh, if it's just like a thing and you just, you know, it, it might not be that good for you. Um, but the people who like Lord of the Rings, actually, some people said it was actually pretty decent. Um, but again, it's, 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 I don't want to say it's more of the same because it, it does look pretty cool. It does like, you know, 2D card stuff. We're still the only ones that have those premium 3D digital collectibles. I, I wish we weren't. I wish there were other, because again, we, 
are not the only project out there. I, I wish that Recur with their Nickelodeon license would have like 3D Rocco's Modern Life or 3D like Phil and Lil, 3D, I, God, ah, ah, wish we had that. I, I, but it's just, it just doesn't exist out there. Um, you know, if you want those first NFTs on the blockchain, you can get the JPEGs, you can get whatever. Um, I, I, I wish we did have the, <laughs> I wish we did have the 3D digital versions of those, uh, whether on VV or not. Uh, shout out to WC3NTE saying, buy gold, silver, VV logo financial advice. <laughs> that is his financial advice. That is not mine. That being said, I have four of those. I'm going to look to try to get a fifth one. Oh, that's the other thing David had mentioned. Um, David had mentioned <laughs> that he does want to give a lot of, he, he doesn't want to just do the, the VV uh, gold and silver logos and that, that's the only thing that have utility. Be advised, that VV and gold silver logo is probably going to be, is their version of Club 33. I don't think anyone really complains that, oh, I can't be a part of Club 33 as part of Disney, only the rich. Maybe there's some people that do that. Like, I, so, gonna go on a rant here. I understand sometimes people need to vent, but why complain about something that you can't change? Either change, either try to change it, try to get yourself included, or just or just don't like it. it I find that that zero effort. It, it doesn't take much to complain, but it takes a lot of effort to go and change something that you're not happy about. Sometimes it's impossible, but sometimes it's it's very possible, but it's just not easy. Like how do you make a lot of money? That part is simple. It's not easy, or else everybody would make money. It's not easy at all, but it, the thing is simple. You uh, live well within your means, you work a lot, and you uh, buy things that will give you a good ROI. And this, you know, doesn't doesn't really help to just save money with, with inflation. It would help to go and buy something or invest in something that has a better ROI than inflation. Um, whether it's S&P 500, if, you're, if you have no idea what you're doing, or if you just say like, hey, everyone really likes Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, whatever. Again, not financial advice. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like a lot of times people who complain, people would be dealt with. And I'm not saying like, like let's say uh, Sam Ellis, who is a cool dude. This, what he said on Twitter before, I don't see as like complaining or FUD. Him saying, oh, hey, if you take a look at the the bottom 20 or the floor of uh, of today's drop, the, the bottom 20, I, I counted them. 17 of them were either private or they had like one or two collectibles, meaning they're probably bots. So when he goes out and says like, oh, hey, just be advised, guys, here's the data that I see. Uh, that's that's I don't think that's really fud. I don't think that's really like complaining. It's just like hey guys, just letting y'all know that this is what I'm seeing right now. Um, so shout out to Sam Ellis for kind of calling it like it is. But speaking of fud and all that, when we have okay, responding to critics about philanthropy, there uh, there's always going to be a bunch of people that try to find the negative in something that go and say like that will try to belittle any achievements. Um, when someone calls me out saying like, oh, you did like, be advised, this 69 hour stream was not advertised as like a money raising campaign or anything. It was just something to see. I wanted to do one just because, one because my last stream was 33 hours, you know, and the stream before that was 16, so it kind of doubled. If I doubled this again, I wanted to add the on the extra three hours and make it 69 for the meme. But also to show that I don't see anyone doing this. With, and again, I know I take crap on Recur all the time. I don't see any other NFT projects where people are, are, are doing this. Where I mean, well, let me actually read VV Viral's um, uh, post here, saying, do other crypto communities have members who create apps, solar farm panels, and other NFT projects to burn the token? 100 hour spaces, which is actually, it was seven days, so it's actually 168 hour space. Uh, 69 hour YouTube streams, in real life meetups all over the world during a bear market, anthems, and nonstop vaults. Uh, and then you had a bunch of people like Fudu, which I don't understand that at all. Um, but then saying like, oh, hey, if Randy, again, this was just advertised as me trying to do something to help elevate the VV fam, the VV community. And there's, there's a bunch of people that everyone recognized. There's a bunch of people that was on that people didn't recognize. And I, I did like, I, I don't know every content creator. I know a good amount of them, um, but... Uh, there's there's so many now, which is a good thing that I don't know them all. That means there's so many to be able to keep up with. 
um, the, the, the more the merrier, the more, the more the better, like, like bring it on. Um, I, I don't, I don't know if there's enough to satisfy the, I would say millions that are going to come in. So that being said, I, if I, if I didn't have you on, it's, it's no ill will, uh, towards anyone, but be advised in the, in the future. The only rule I had this one was that if anyone from the team, like David, Dan, Reese, whoever was on, nobody else could join at that point. Another rule I will have later on my 100-hour stream, I'll add two. One will be, I guess, time limits, um, you know, because there are so many people that are going to want to get on, you know, I'll cut, you know, four hours each or, or, or however long. But then there is another thing that I will say, and again, I don't want to be all, all negative here. Uh, let me go and find it on my, on my videos. I don't think it was that long ago. Maybe it was that long ago that I did it. It was three weeks ago, and it is titled, To My Male Subscribers. I have not advertised that on Twitter. I haven't advertised it on Facebook, on, on Reddit, or anything. I just made it one day because I, I didn't want to really bring, maybe I should bring attention to it. Um, it had to do with sexual harassment, and it had to do with being respectful to women. If anyone is going to break any of those rules that I mentioned in that video, no chance you're getting on that stream. You're no chance you're getting on that 100 hour stream. Now I do believe in redemption. I've seen it. I do believe in second chances, generally speaking. But if you're going to go and you're going to literally talk down to not just not, I don't care if you talk down to me, like, like there's somebody, uh, I forget the other day that was just like, so this is what it looks like to see a homeless man stream for 69 hours. That was kind of funny. Like it, it, was, it was good. I, so I don't care if any of that's directed towards me, but if if someone, and you know, not naming names here, is multiple times going to be setting derogatory comments towards women where there are so few women in the space, we need to get more of them, uh, especially because they're the ones that tend to drive markets, um, th there's no chance I'm giving you a platform. So again, that, and, and we're going to focus on the philanthropy part for a second, saying I'm not philanthropical, it should be for charity. 90% of what I, of my net worth, will be going towards charity. For those of you that do not know, I've been working with Best Friends Animal Society for quite some time. I will be going and buying land in Madagascar and Indonesia for endangered species for animals. Maybe you say like, okay, why animals? Why can't it just be people? I have plans for people too. I have plans for a bunch of that. But uh, I don't think anyone else in the community I, I mean, there's a bunch of people that have as much, if not more, only than I do. Like, I could, I could name a dozen people that have more only than I do. Um, but to have what I do and then claim that pledge 90% of that, of my net worth, will go towards charity. And this is, and maybe I should just lock it up. I, 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 I'll see about locking up 100 million OMI uh, for X amount of years because I, I do want to have 100 million OMI by the time either 2030 hits or by the time we reach a dollar, I think we reach a dollar first. Um, so I, I mean, I guarantee you the people that are saying, oh, this is a, you know, the stream was like for a money grab, long streams are meant for charity. Yeah, I'll, I'll do long streams for charity. I'll do a bunch of stuff for charity. Um, I, I will put my tax returns against anyone showing the charitable donations I make. Um, it is, you know, put your money where your mouth is. If you go and say, show me tax returns saying, hey, Here's my bank statements. I put, you know, I put thirty thousand dollars into charity last year, and then you say that and you put your money. Okay, cool. You win. You're right. Uh, if you're going to say that and you haven't donated anything or you donated a couple thousand, uh, there's no. I, I mean, good for you for donating that couple thousand, but um, I feel like that person in general has no room to talk. Anyway, moving on here. We have a couple of things that I wanted to mention that I didn't get to go over before. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There is a, there was some chatter today that the U.S. will ban TikTok because they're not 100% sure where, uh, what data is being collected and what is being used for, and why the, how this affects, could affect Vivi if they're able to ban TikTok, which is so amazingly, insanely popular uh, in the U.S. Well, then on the chopping block goes every single foreign app, every single foreign thing that is not based in the U.S. Okay, well, and then that's Vivi. Uh, one, I, I think this is just talk. I haven't heard anything on this yet um, coming to fruition, but it is just something that just kind of saying, like, I think we're okay for right now. Um, be advised that uh, Vivi vs. Metaverse, um, 
There was an article about how Ticketmaster maximizes ticket prices for concerts because they own some of the largest venues so that big stars are forced to book through them in order to get that access, thus perpetuating the $500 plus ticket prices. Metaverse concerts, however, could bypass that, at least recapturing some of that revenue, maybe eventually lead to lower Metaverse tickets or in real life concert prices. So pretty bullish on that as well, as far as. Um, other things is that the amount of wallets that people have like for, for Reddit NFTs has surpassed OpenSea. Said before, I'll say it again. BV does not need OpenSea. OpenSeas need BV. I think OpenSeas days are numbered. I think maybe it might survive, but once regulation comes and people are forced to KYC on things like that, uh, they're just they're just not. And and OpenSea will be a ghost town, in my opinion. Anyway, let's get to comments over here. Justin says, I don't see your six nine hour stream, big daddy Chavez. Yeah, I, I have to figure out how to get that from Google because they won't even the 33 hour stream, like so my 16 hour stream, they have the first 12 hours, which is cool. Uh, they don't have the extra four, you know, whatever. Um, but the 33 hour stream, that won't play and the 69 hour stream won't play either. I, I don't know if anyone knows how to contact Google for that. Like I, I just haven't done it yet. Let me know, cross this. Daniel Marquez says, comment, spaceship, like button, smash that like button, yeah. Uh, shout out to Daniel Marquez too, and uh, Kyla May from K Collections, who is uh, who had interviewed Daniel Marquez, who's always in everybody's comments, shouting out all, all these positive things. Uh, she got him on, on her podcast and her, interviewed him. Uh, I think I, wa I watched a couple minutes of it, I ha haven't had the chance yet. I've also been, you know, doing doing some sleeps, catching up on my sleeps. Um, we, we always love to see him. And Marquez's comment, hi, Randy, good luck tomorrow. Had to buy on market. I got a nice mint at floor price. Ooh, very good. I have, um, oh lordy. Why does it say sponsored? Why does my video say sponsored? It's not sponsored. It's sponsored by anyone, what the fudge? Oh, that's that's strange. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, that's so weird why it says sponsored. I don't, it's not sponsored by anyone. I wish it was. Moving on. Uh, oh yeah, so spoopy stuff we have on the app. So be advised today, uh, yeah, today's drop, I, I think just a lot, a lot of them was just bought it. I think it is under retail now. I don't think it's a bad thing. Like, so I, I wouldn't buy from a bot, like, even if let's say, let's say the price for any collectible at retail was $50 and now it's going secondary market for 80. Um, I'll, I'll look for one that's not a bot. I don't care if I have to pay $10 more and I'll give my money to someone that's not a bot, but, but, if we go in today's collectible and we take a look at, okay, welcome to New York poster. Where's all the, where are they? All right, let me see if I can find it from the drops. From the Camille Garcia. Okay, so it was $45. And now if you look at this person, Raka, whose account is private, or the one next to him, whose account is private, and they even look like a bot. I don't mind buying from them right now because even though they're charging 85 cents above retail, they are they're they're losing money because they have that two and a half percent fee and then they have to cash out like yeah no i i don't mind doing that if they're if the bots are losing money if the bots are losing money then I, I i don't care i mean that being said i will still go and um and try to find someone um although i i can't even i i don't know who anaki is but they have two literally two collections two they have two collectibles and two comics so i don't um yeah any, anyone that has stuff like that i'm, I'm probably not gonna buy from um, Jesus, I, there's, there, I don't, I don't think there are anybody that I've seen that, that has the, the accounts either not private or it just doesn't have, I, I've, I've looked like 14 of these so far and, and that, that don't just have a couple collectibles. Did every single one of these, okay, this guy has 87 collectibles. So, so I, I feel okay with that guy. It's $49. It's only $4 more or $3, 15 cents more. That's fine. Moving on. All right, Merrick. Thanks, sorry. I've been slacking off on watching your stream. I've been dealing with pesky health problems. Thank you for all I do. Uh, yeah, thanks for the support. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. And uh, I hope the health gets better. I hope the health gets, yeah, much better for you. Rooksar, what's going on? Meow, 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 meow. All chat gaming. The straight fire. What up? What up, all chat gaming? Bye. Justin says, you technically made a video yesterday. <laughs> yeah, technically it, that video was 
you know, of the first seven hours of, uh, of the day. So I guess that does count. And then I did do a video today, uh, recapping a, a lot of what, what I, what I had missed. Um, but not a ton. Uh, anyway, Sanjay Beskaran says, let's go excited for this space. Oh, me too, Sanjay. Me too. Bill Gardner says, Randy, why hello, Bill Gardner. I hope you're doing well. Still love that Groot comic book. Pretty legit. Uh, who that? Yeah, send the bagel. Oh, God. So, so something, when Foster Hilt was here in New York, I, I didn't hang out with him in, at breakfast the first time he was here a couple months ago. But for New York Comic Con when he was here, he kept saying bagel. And that, I don't know why, but it, maybe in the rest of the world, bagel's fine. Or you're in New York. Say bagel, Foster Hilt, I'm calling you out. What? <laughs> um, please say bagel. Just, just please, when you're in New York, just please say bagel. When we're in Anaheim, when we're anywhere else, I don't care. When you're in New York, you got you got to say bagel. That's. <laughs> I never brought that up to him. I just kind of ignored it. I was like, no, he didn't just say. He didn't just say bagel, did he? Did he? No, no. I I thought I was like tired or maybe like hungover or whatever, so I just ignored it. But I saw a TikTok about someone saying bagel. And I was like, this really is what Foster Hill did. I guess it's all Canadians. <laughs> Good times. Jimbo Lee Lingo, what up? Saying hello, VV fam. Hello, Master Randy. What up, Jimbo Lee Lingo? I hope you're doing well. Hope life is treating you good. Commas and zeros says Randarian. What up, commas and zeros? Corey, being real with you. Uh, give me those waves. Hello, Corey. How's it going? Dana Marquez says comment. I know Gallo was doing good, but so did Omi. Yeah, uh, I, I, I don't think I've heard anything bad on Gala. Um, I, I just don't know anything about it. So I, I, I did say someone, in, I did see someone in the comments. Hang on. Reminded to hydrate. Oh, water's so good. Someone in the comments says, "I said that quote. I see Gala as a 50x in the coming years." End quote. Which is, which is a nice large amount. 50. And so even if they were, what they says come to fruition, 50x is a lot. But you know what they say comes true. Uh, okay, let, let's say you know, um, 50 50x is a lot. And let's say they're talking about next bull market. So let's say 2025-ish. Omi, I see minimum 100x. Why? Because Omi, you know, 10x would be not even all-time high. 100x would be just under 12 cents. I, least, I see this at like 300x. Um, so again, 50x is great. And we'll, and Gala will probably yield some great profits. It might, um, it seems to have a fairly decent community, at least what I saw on the Ball Baron Network. Um... But if I'm all about ROI, it's that Omi though. It's that Omi though. Oh, also, I guess I should say about the logo, um, <laughs> where David had said, "Yeah, uh, you know, like, oh, I, you have four, you know, maybe you know, give one or two away." I was like, ah. <laughs> um, so I will, I, I will um, be be advised if I go to a con and I'm getting some merch um up until they have up until they have um what do you call it transfers on and or rentability on um you know obviously i can't rent it out when there's no rentability aspect to it um but if they say hey chavez you can come in and you could have three people with you because you have four logos and even if these three people don't have a logo you can get it for them. Like they can give it to you. It's like, okay, that's cool. Um, so yeah, I, I might do, uh, I either might do a giveaway or I might just sell them for charity at some point. David, I will ask him, this is his company. Um, I will ask him, you know, in Decon, if he wants to buy uh, my logo from me, I'll, I'll give that to him uh, for price he thinks is fair. Cause again, it is his company and I have three others and he literally told me to give it away. So like, oh, okay, we'll see. Um, but then the others, I'll, I'll just have a, uh, what do you call it? Um, sell it for charity or whatever. I don't know. I'll, I'll keep you all posted on, on that. Uh, and again, that's going to be much, much more in the future. I wouldn't sell it now for charity, get like no money for it. Uh, I would, I, I think that that logo goes well into the five figures, if not six figures one day. Moving on. Uh, Justin says, playing as Disney characters in the VV verse. Dan teasing first and third person views uh, on Twitter. That's another good thing that I 
have to go and talk about. Um, Dan had mentioned so if not only is he is he just really talking about the VVRs and really teasing that. Somebody asked him because he had asked the question, "What do you want to see in the VVRs?" And somebody says like land gaming, Pokemon. Or Pikachu, and then Dan literally responds, "When Pokemon?" As like, oh my god, what? Like, I. There's no way they have it, right? There's, no, I mean, there's. I I just want to be cautiously optimistic here. I mean, there's there's no way they tease that unless they. Uh, I, I I mean, unless he's he he knows that Nintendo or Pokemon is like watching their Twitter accounts and he's like, oh, when Pokemon to try to coax them into. Maybe come to the table. I, I I don't even know what. I'm I'm sure they've had words, unless they want to wait. Because I I don't I imagine if you're if you're them last year and you're rolling out Disney and the app's not ready and you got Marvel and all this, maybe you do, at that time you don't want to even talk to Nintendo because you really need to catch up first. We weren't even on Immutable X last year. You know we were still on Go Chain. You probably want to have a respectable blockchain, you know, that, uh, you know, like, like Immutable X, which is on the Ethereum blockchain. That's what, really where you want to build on. Um, there's no other chain that I would want to build on. I, I really wish Earth 2 was on, like, Immutable X. They are on Matic Polygon, which is fine. It's fine. Um, I, I, I mean, if I, if I were, you know, I, I might not have even talked. I would have waited until the app was a thriving success, which kind of already is. They're about to gross the 400 millionth gem. Over over the next couple of weeks, before the end of the year, but um, well, we shall see. Uh, but yeah, so so Dan also tweets first and third person viewing on in the VV verse. You know, I like the third person better. You know, the first person's like you know it's what it is. Uh, third person for me in gaming is it's easier. You know, you could see more of what's around you. Like, like, like I, I hope there comes a time where you can go and wear, like, a face mask thing. Wear, like, one of those, um, where you're in, like, AR or whatever. Uh, like, a HTC Vive or whatever. And then have, like, a drone follow you. So you could see, like, in real time. Oh, okay. You know, like, I, I just think that'd be fun. Um, it, it probably sounds so stupid to some people, but it, it just would be fun for me. The universe is going to be lit, guys. I can't. I can't wait to see it, and for everyone else to see it, and get everyone's reactions to that when they see it. And at, at Decon Recovery says VVverse. LOL. One working search bar. I don't know. We'll see. Darth Chaos says hello there. Oh, General Darth Chaos. Felipe B says I bought four million Omi today, so I reached my aim of fifty million Omi. Whoa, <laughs> dude, that's incredible. Clap it up for Felipe B, who reached fifty million. Ome. Ome? <laughs> Why did I say Ome? Ome. Dude, that, that's incredible. It's not easy to do. Very, very difficult. That's it's over $50,000 that you put in. And you probably put in more because, you know, Ome's down now. But uh, Jayco, uh, 5000 to the moon. 5000 to the moon. $5,000 of Ome? 5000 Ome? 5000 what? Oh, yeah, some other spooky stuff we have. So there's a... Oh, dude, I can't, I can't wait for the... Mr. Bones, uh, boxer and blocker from Ron the Killer, in two days or one day and eighteen hours. But it's the those two little guys up there that go, you know, find themselves. Um, Yellow and tomorrow, the Boo, the Cat, Haunted Edition, the Haunted Edition. That looks cool. That looks chill. How many of those are there? Six hundred sixty-six. I took kept ninety of them. So it's only five seventy-six. This one, same thing. Five cent. They're really cool. Oh, Jayco hit 5,000 comics today, girl. Ooh. Dude. <laughs> oh, dude, that's a lot. That's a lot of comics. You, 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 have, you have like 10x the amount of collect. I only have 512 collectibles, I think. You, you went, you, you went pretty hard. Um, congrats, brother. That you can make so much money, dude. You're gonna make so much money in the future. I'm jealous. Now get that on me, girl. Girl. Yeah, zero. Storage. Space required. You, you just can't do this in real life. I, I, I wish I could have 5,000 comics with me. Like, Y'all have seen my closet. No closet space. Um, 5,000 comics. Oh, I, I can't even imagine how much space I'd take up. I mean, I can, but I don't want it. We got... And, and yeah, Felipe B with it. 4 million Omi today. I got 50 million Omi. 
there was a pretty heavy buy, buy line there too, over 700,000. It's like the second time in like the last week where we've had over 700,000. Most times, maybe we maybe we get over 500,000 in volume. Um, but yeah, this, this is really good. Ooh, excuse me. Commons and Zero says, Randonovsky. <laughs> I love those names. Mopar Challengers coach neighbor says, where can I buy it? only online? Thank you. Generally, BitForex is used a lot by people. Uh, you do have Ascendex, which is used by a lot of Canadians, um, but I, either of those are fine. Um, however, comma, I would say that putting it in a trust wallet or a ledger is what is what I do. I, I have like six, seven different trust wallets. I don't have a, a ledger, but they're 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 both safe. I you know ledger's fine. Foster Hill has some. Jayco with two dollars super chat. What up, fam? And the 69 hour stream was awesome. Well, thank you. I thought it was pretty awesome too. Um, there was certainly some times where I was going, <laughs> you know, um, doing a snooze, but, but for the most part, uh, yeah, yeah. For the most part, it's, um, it, it was, it was really great. We had a lot of, you know, shout out to, uh, Kyle Wilson, especially for holding it down that one night. And then I think it was Fan Bam, some of the superstar fan, the, the, a bunch of people that held it down for like I think BB Vibe, BB Vibe as well. Um, it's people just being being hella awesome and uh, re really holding it down. I whew, gotta love them. Ooh, ooh, okay. Yawning. I'm still I'm still tired. I literally so after the after the stream, I slept for three hours. Went to the bathroom. Slept another two hours. So I had to stay up a little bit. So I slept five hours during the day. Stayed up till maybe like two. I, I slept for another nine hours this morning. <laughs> So it's, it's a lot of hours. Um, so sleeping nine hours is um, I, I, I out of the twenty four hours after the stream, I had slept about about fourteen of those hours. <laughs> slept I slept a lot. Um, so shout out to uh, shout out to everyone that was letting me sleep. And Raythax, thank you so much for the ten dollars super chat. Saying smash that like button and comment. Raythax just had a birthday yesterday, uh, and it come and it Raythax's birthday is on the one year anniversary of us getting Alligator Loki, the best collectible on the app, in my opinion. So I have so many of them. Um, so yeah, shout out to him for that. Um, he's a good egg. And listen to him, and you smash that like button, and you comment, and you comment that you smashed it. Smash it, smash it. One, one like away from 50. Where was I, yeah? Commas and Zero says, Randizzy. <laughs> Commas and Zero says, Randizzle. <laughs> Uh, mobile channel. Oh yeah, I just read that. So, DZ and Dizzle. There was. I don't know that that song by Vitamin C, the graduation song. You know, as we go on. I yeah, it's a good song. I, it's always at like everyone's graduation, um, and then randomly on a playlist when you're nostalgic. But there's, it was at the gym. I heard like a like a rap version of that song. It was like hip hop. It was like. It was, it was like, uh, kind of, it almost sounded like non-fungible wonderful. We're like, we're an immutable X, you know, but it was like, as, I, I, I know, it was just, I, it was, it was about, um, let me, let me try to Google this real quick. Uh, blah, 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 blah. graduation song rap remix. It was by Benny Blanco. Uh, a few years ago has like 55 million views. I had zero idea it existed, but I love that remix. I suddenly hear it in the gyms. Like. Oh, oh, this fire. Oh, oh, I'm doing triceps like, ah, <laughs> this is good. Was... Super chat coming in for Jayco. Say smash that like button for the algorithm for Al Gore's rhythm is the best thing to do. So that, that was so, Al Gore. Um, so even big, powerful people. There are so many conspiracy theories about Dr. Profit. Um, just saying that the pe some of the conspiracy theories was him saying, or people saying that he's not really a rich individual, he's just a hedgy, or he's just, a hedgy is someone that manages a hedge fund. Um, a hedge fund is going through him uh, to purchase all of their collectibles. Like, guys, like, I, and, and, and some of the comments were like, because I, I, I met him, like we're, like, we're friends, and some of the comments were like, okay, well, yeah, he was, in, you know, there was someone in New York City with a mask on claiming to be Dr. Profit, but do you actually know who he who he really is or who he was, guys? I saw him without the mask. Like I I know it's him. It's like well, anyone could be without a mask. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I love conspiracy theories, and one of my favorite ones is that he's Foster's dad. I don't know if he's old enough. I guess he is. I guess. Ah, uh, I don't know. 
I mean, I guess technically you could have kids at a young age. Like, real, like if you really think about biologically, it's not right, and I don't think it should happen, but I guess it is possible. Um, <laughs> so that was my favorite one, that Foster, who is Brockwick Blockchain, is also Dr. Prophet's uh, kid. The circle closes. <laughs> um, I, I love that type of stuff. And where was I? Uh, uh, still tired. Oh, God. I will power through until I reach all the comments. Justin says, Omi with a juicy 5% pump since the 69 hours of Le Mans. You are correct, sir. I don't know. The, it just hit me. I, now, granted, I did run this morning after I got up uh, in the rain, which was, I was straight up not having a good time. My socks were wet, and I was like, oh, man, this, this is rough. But I got back, I showered, I did laundry, I made a sandwich, I had a protein shake, water, water break, hydrate! Okay, moving on. <laughs> I, so what, why do we say hydrate? Because in the military, or in, in, in the Air Force, we do our basic training down in Lackland, Texas, uh, in Lackland Air Force Base. And it, it's in San Antonio, but it's Lackland Air Force Base inside. It's a whole city inside of itself, that base. It's huge. Um, when we're out and, and we, I went during a time where it wasn't that hot. Cause I went in, in December, graduated in February and, but sometimes when you're outside doing some yard work or whatever, if nobody's said it for like 15 minutes, so, someone's responsible to hydrate, like hydrate. So everyone hydrates. Uh, we also did that in Kuwait where I was employed in Ali al-Salem where you had to go and if you're working outside with these baggage pallets, like. First off, there was, you do not drink the water there. You are, well, we got so much cancer. Um, you are only allowed to drink this certain type of water that they give you, which has so much fluoride in it. I, I, there's no need to be that much fluoride. Like, flu, like, even with toothpaste, fluoride's already added in the water. I don't know why you need that much more fluoride. Anyway, anyway, um, we're only allowed to drink those watered bottles. And sometimes they're just sitting in the sun like... I, uh, part of my job, part of the job that I was in 2T2, in air transportation, there's passengers, there's cargo, there's ramp, there's ATOC, there's special services, there's a whole explosives, you know, you, oh God, if you have a bunch of 1.1 on there, and like, I don't know how some people do it, I don't know how they're hiding, like, sometimes when you get rocketed, not where I was, that's, in like, somewhere in like, Iraq or Afghanistan somewhere, um, you're supposed to like, shelter in place, or, or like, try to find cover, if you're in like a forklift, you're in like a staircase truck or whatever, and you can't really hide anywhere, you okay, I'm gonna be here. But then if you have like a bunch of 1.1 on your 60K, it's like, oh my God, if that hits that, we're, 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 we're doomed. Um, anyway, when you're in cargo, um, sometimes that water can sit there for hours. And then of course we cool it off. We try to put it in wherever, but we still have to drink that stuff. Like I said, so much cancer. Anyway, where was I? Uh, blah, blah, blah. pump since the 60 hour of, of Le Mans. I, I forget, I went on such a big tangent. The biggest bro says he's back. Thanks for letting me join in on the 69 hour. Nice stream. Much love, Gator Lord. Thank you, the biggest bro. Gracias, gracias. It's a pleasure having you. Felipe Bates is bit forex. And Sanjay Baskaron, thank you so much for the, uh, it's like Mr. MC1 underscore ETH, letting us know your Twitter, where you can follow him, and then also RSVP. Danny Marquez's comment, how do we get in the after party? Message the man above you. Uh, sleepin! Hey, Randy, what's up, Sleepin? So, Sleepin's hat was, I think, the most... Uh, so, there was at one point me... Me and you, and I think and Kyle. There was at one point, there was three Sleepin hats on the stream. Oh, excuse me. Um, Sleepin, can I... Is that hat able to be washed? Because... Oh, oh God. Oh, I, I kick up and burp at the same time. Did not feel good at all. Um, okay, so sleeping. I I have worn this hat is worn now. Like I've worn it for most of the stream. Put that on right there. Uh, I've worn it for. I've worn this at the gym. I like. I, it probably needs to be washed, but can it be? I don't. I don't think. I don't know if that's a good idea. Like I. I get it. I probably shouldn't have worn it to the gym, but the other hats are in the laundry, and I was like, okay. Had a really bad hair day, and I also feel like, Hugh! you know, and also be advised, guys, I am getting into shit. I am so sorry because I, I, you know, I never, 
sometimes I look at myself like like right now, um, but I never really go on and like look at myself. And I just on that for like three days, I just had to watch myself just get uglier and uglier as that stream went on. And I feel so sorry for all of you who just had to look at this disgusting fat mug. So I will lose weight. I will I will clean up the whiskers. I will make sure that I look better for you in the streams to come. Um, <laughs> just, you know, just, I see you. I, I, I understand. Uh, Sanjay says, go to the after party. You need to let me know. Let Sanjay know. Pablo Sanjay says, let's go. What's up, Pablo? Punch, 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 punch. Corey being real with you. This is Randy rocking it as always. Um, yeah, shout out to everyone that made me feel like uh, saying like, oh, I'm going to have withdrawals about this. It's like, it's true. There's no more. Fan Bam and Chavez streaming and, and everyone else. Um, well, I'm just doing it back right now. Um, back again. I, I, I had asked a couple of people, I think it was Eva, I think it was Vibes or Fan Bam, like, what would be like your last stream? What would be like your last video? And I don't know, for, for like for me, I think it would be, it would just be normal. Like, it, like I would do like a large stream you know, for a really, really long, but, and, you know, I would go over the news and say the first part of the stream, you know, let's say it's 18 hours, whatever. And then on the last, the last hour, I'd be like, okay, well, let's go over the news guys. Hey everyone. I was like, you know, and then I would just go over the news like normal. And then just give you all like a heartfelt goodbye and just, just a single tear just rolling down my, my face. <laughs> I don't know. Again, it's, it's probably years away. Um, especially if someone buys into my IP and, make a deal that I have to keep making content for a few years. You know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Well, Stidwack says, what up fam? I'm so pumped for decon. What's up Stidwack? So glad to see you going. Danny Marquez says, comment. Hey Sanjay, Mascaron, how do us little guys get in? Just, just shoot him a message on the Twitter. Uh, on, on, on the tweeters. Like some tweeters. Pappy says, thanks for organizing Sanjay. Yes, shout out to Sanjay for being the man to organize this. Oh, says, yes, going to after party. Punch, 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 punch. Joseph says, VV to be at E3? I don't think so. That'd be dope, though, if it... Jesus, that'd be dope. Um, I, I really don't think so. Or, or if they... Not this year. It would be in a couple of years, probably. Probably? Probably. Then Marquez says, comment. Hey, sir, love my mint hats. 38 Sleeping Comics is absolutely fire. Thanks for signing. Man, you know, better than I did. Good for you, mate. Um... Can't believe Comics and Crypto got number two. That's so wild. They deserve it. Good for them. But oh my god, it's so wild. <laughs> oh, I didn't get them on. I There's so many people I didn't get on that that should have been on. And it just, it, it was so hard to coordinate. Sorry, guys. WC3MT says, let's go, Golden VV logo crew. And thank you for the super chat saying, buy gold and silver VV logo. Financial advice. Not my financial advice, because I don't give that. But a shout out to him. Thank you for the super chat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we got Justin saying, I was thinking S&P 500. Uh, yeah, S&P 500 definitely takes a lot of dumb money out. You do that in pretty solid returns, usually 9% to 11% each year on average. And uh, Sid Wax saying, smash that like button if you're going to decon. Smash it, smash it. Cheers, mate. Andy Marquez says, comment, 69 hour stream, no... There's no, there's like streams for relaxation that are going on for over three to 12 months without stopping. Oh, yeah, that's true. I, I, I do see that, that people just, um, they put on a thing, um, and it's just music and it, and it goes on like forever. It's wild. Super chat coming from my collectibles and incredible marathon stream. Congrats. Thank you for coming on. That was, that was really good. Um, excuse me. It was, it was a lot of, um, Ooh, hiccups. A lot of good people on. And again, I definitely want to get uh, more people on next time. I want to have it a little more organized. I was going to try to do it in December, but that's just around the holidays. And I, I know that most people have family <laughs> and they have, the, you know, they're busy and they're traveling and, and they're doing stuff. Um, so maybe I'll make it for like January, February or something. I don't know. Uh, my collectible says I had a ton of fun coming on and watching all your guests. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you could be one of them. Yeah, I, I, I want, um, I, I mean, it, it's also, that that was pretty taxing. And, and I don't do it all the time. Sometimes I do eight or nine hour streams. Sometimes I do six, some, you know, sometimes I just 
kind of go where they go, you know. But, uh, ooh, yeah, moving on here. Where was I? Go to that last one. Probably says 69 watching. Uh, there were 69 people watching before. A little bit more now. Corey says 100 hour stream. I'll, I'll get it at some point. I don't know when. Get it at some point. Probably uh, says everyone should be respectful. Agreed, sir. Blockchain Bullfrog says Gala and Omi are my two biggest holdings. They're both powerhouses. Gala founders are from Rosinga Farmville. You should definitely do some deeper research. Like Dan and David, they have a vision. That is, especially when you said the Farmville. I, those that don't know, in like 2009, everyone was playing Farmville on Facebook. Like everyone. It was insane. Recovery says only six out of the 20 of the last drops sold out. Good. We got we got a store. We, we finally have a store for people to go in and, and purchase. Um, again, they'll, more will sell out as time goes on. That's just more bought every day. Louis John says, most charities just steal your money, maybe create your own, in my opinion. Um, is it Norvis or Narva? There is a an organization that rates charities like 8 out of 10 or 9 out of like, and, and they break down out of like 500 points or whatever. We rated this because of X, Y, and Z, and this is really good and this is really bad. Um, but if, if you know which ones are, if you know which ones are good, like, let's look March of Dimes. They call it March of Dimes because it's ten cent out of ten cents out of every dollar goes to the cause. I would not. I, I don't know what March of Dimes even does. Um, I would not. I would not go and donate to them strictly because ten cents out of every dollar that that is disgusting. Um, there are charities like let's say like Best Friends Animal Society extraordinarily good i i think it's charity navigator i'm really curious to see which which one um it is all right so it's i think it's charity navigator yeah um a search to make a donation the non yeah they're non-profit evaluators and it just shows which ones are the best like let's just for example let's just look a couple of these guys. Um, Best Friends Animal Society has an 85 out of 100. They do really well. Um, but let me see the details. All right, so the finance and accountability got an 85, but the impact and results are not scored. And the leadership and adaptability and the culture and community are not scored. I'm not sure why. But 85 out of 100 that says that the charity score is a passing score. The overall score is calculated entirely from a single beacon score, 100% uh, finance and accountability. Um, oh, so they got 100% on that. But I guess they got minus five points on each of the other ones because it provides an assessment of their financial health. But that doesn't give them... Oh, okay. So actually, the program expense got 25 out of 25 points. The board compensation got 35 out of 35 points. The liabilities are so it got, actually got 100, but they're missing a bunch of points. Like conflict of interest policy is missing. Uh, document retention and destruction is missing and whistleblower policy is missing, meaning that th there's just not enough info to be collected. Um, pro program expense ratio is 94.36 percentile. Um, which is determined by the progress expenses divided by total expense. Um, average of the most recent 3990s. This measure reflects the percentage of its total expenses. Charity spends on programs and services it exists to deliver. So th that that means like like 95% pretty much uh, went to this went to the actual charity. So uh, again, that th I really do like them. But to your uh, to your point, with its run the the um, what's that called the actual buying of land in Madagascar and Indonesia for endangered species in hopes that they don't go extinct so I can, you know, help get those population levels up for them. Um, that will probably be just me. I, I mean, I'll, I'll work with people on it and people that know what they're doing. But yeah, I because again, let's say that there's a charity that 80%, let, let's say 80%, let's say it's not as good as Best Friends, even if it's 70%, if 70% goes to 
the actual charity of what it does. And the other 30% goes to, I don't know, salary and it goes to advertising, like whatever it is. If they can take, let's say I give them, you know, $10 million and 7 million actually goes to what it's supposed to. It is probably much better in their hands because they know how to use it. They know how the charity works. They, they know the ins and outs of what they're existing for. Where if somebody gives me $10 million, I'll, I'll, I'll use all of it for the charity, but I might not be able to spend that as efficiently. I might, I might do something that costs, costs me a million dollars to do it, but because they have these connections and they, you know, this charity has all well, it might only cost them, you know, $500,000. So saving $500,000 right there. It, there are benefits to, to using those, even if not everything goes to, uh, to the charity. But like I said, I'll, I'll be, you know, it's my money. And again, 90% of my net worth will be going to those charities. Moving on. Bill Gardner says, yeah, I like Bono keeping 99%. Oof, big oof. So Marty Pan says, do you know how many lenticulars Data Profit owns based on the metadata? Curious to hear the numbers on that. Um, I'm sure I could find out. I'll just ask. Let's see lenticulars. Let's see if I, I, I did take a couple of screenshots of this. All right, so Ultraman, Serena, Coca-Cola, Cat, Just Us, Day of the Dead, Invisible Woman, Magic Lamp, VV Logo. Oh, he's got three VV Logos. No Time to Die, Captain America Zombie. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, three Aston Martins also. Zombie Captain America, Batter Up, Throg, Day of the Dead, 90s Edition, Death, Day of the Dead Child, Metallo, okay. Spider-Man Miles Morales. Oh, he's got two Spider-Man Miles Morales, nice. Stark and Red Labbit, Visible Labbit, Ben Riley, Acrobatic Arachnid, Korra, Stark and Labbit, Woody. He's got 108 Woodies, damn. Big Barda, Dragon Girl, Nightwing, Popeye, Amanda Connor, Batman, Ghost Trap, Ritmo, Becky Cloonan, Assassin, Ido, Choices, Under he's got 68 Disney Ds. Um, Max up Snork and Labbit, You're the Tiger. Oh, that's cool. He's got 19 of those. Happy Stash Labbit, T-Rex, Invisible, Winnie the Pooh, Cogsworth and Lumiere, Labacorn, Sappin's Lair, Lumpy Space Princess, got 30 of those. Luciana, Into Infinity, and Beyond. He's got 10 of those. Dragon Girl Silver, Water Element, the Tillazillas, got one out of 111, so not a ton. We are Night Watch, No Time, Gelatina, Starfire. I don't think the lenticulars are on here. Lady the Tram, OG Devil Bunny, Collie Quinn number 13. Oh, he's got 21 of those, jeez. Mr. Mojo Jojo, he's got 36 of. Oh, we got a Super Chat. Super Chat coming from Maxwell, this is Beer Money, one Twitter follow. Maxwell, what's your Twitter? Let me, let me type in the... Oh, God. Maxwell. Latest. Maxwell, give me Twitter. Comment Twitter down below. Mm hmm Because I am not... Oh, jeez. Okay, people. Matt. Okay, so there's Matt. Sam Liu. What the fuck is Sam Liu? Do serve anime series on HBO, Showcase. That's the Superman. I feel like I know him. I'm not sure why. I don't know why. He's not following me, though. Okay. Um... Maxwell, Maxwell, Sapson, Maxwell, 28043. Was just followed on the Twitter. And no, guys, if you give me $5, I will not follow you on Twitter. <laughs> Maxwell's the only one. He's been here a long time. He's a cool dude. Um, so we got Mojo Jojo, Red Rum, Flounder Sebastian. Oh, yeah, 36 Red Mojo Jojos. Shut Up and Draw. He's got 10 of those, damn. Uh, You're the Ox, Alligator Loki. He's got 38 of the animated. Um, which is the, the ultra rare. Skywalker light, 215 Skywalker lightsabers, damn, the Christ. Res I don't think he has, I, I know he has lenticulars, I don't, but they're not on the list. Twiz, coming soon, post to Corman, Captain Carter, Hooverville, Creeper Dero, Marceline, oh, Marceline, at 25. Jim Dale, the Hunter, Lady and the Tramp, OG, Devil Bunny, 94, Lady and the Tramps, Jesus. Pride, he's got 41 Pride, he's got 12 Bubbles. Oh, he's got 30 Storm Secret Rares, 44 Thor Secret Rares. Contemplating Venice, he's got 30 of those. Jesus! Hansen, Red Dragon Wallet, You're the Rat, Nice, 16, Skateboard, Future, Heroes Edition, Yoda, Deadpool, 27 of those, Lucky. 
I, I, I don't know why I'm just not seeing it. We got 215 time to follow Batman, so Jesus. Longboard, time to remember him, eight hymns. Z three PO, three hundred twenty six three POs. Jesus, two hundred seven R two D twos. Avengers logo, Jungle Cruise, Elsa got three hundred one Elsas. My God, man. Mayor of Townsville, Little Friend Silver, Pizza Planet truck. He's got five hundred eighty three Donald and Daisy Ducks. Lordy. Stephen Pugh, twenty nine Stephen Pugh Harley Quinns. That's over five percent of them. Yeah, I. He got the House of Cards, but I don't see any of the Disney Lenticulars. I'm sure he has them, though. They're just not on the list. Yeah, I. it's not. It's not there. Sorry, mate. Now, where was I? Was that? Okay, moving on. I am... Yeah. Lord of the Realm says, Is this the 42... 42,069 hour stream? No, no, it is not the 42,069 hour stream. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that'll ever happen. Jayco says, hey, Randy. What up, Jayco? Ape has been sent and says, hello, Randy. Can I have a request for you? Can you show all of your anime shirts uh, collection, including your DBZ shirt? So actually, oh, God. Ugh, my body. I just wore my DBZ shirt to the gym, so I'm in a, okay. So there's that one. I don't think I have many. I, I have a couple in the wash. I just did a bunch. I don't think this is anime either, but I got a... Red's Gym. Um, oh, yeah. It's not really anime. It's It's Marvel. It's Marvel, though. Got that Marvel comic shirt. Oh, I can't raise my arms any further. Oh, my shoulders. Um, let's take a look. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, from you, the level of Jedi Knight Council does. Taking this boy, is your Padawan knife? I do not. Qui Gon believed in him. Qui Gon's defiance, I sense in you. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Um, again, it's not really anime, but it's Mario Kart '92. So good. Okay. Um, oh. No, 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 no. Again, okay, not really anime, it's more video game related, but. Eh. Uh, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. I don't. I, I used to have an Attack on Titan one, I used to have a bunch of others. Drawers are pretty empty, though. Jayco, did you see my tweet? 5,000 comments. I didn't, but dude, I'm so heckin' happy. Um, congrats on, on getting... Five, ah, that's amazing. That, that's, that is a force to be reckoned with. I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom at some point because I drank a lot of water. I'm also hungry again. I don't need the food, though. Um, Miss Mamma Mia says, Hey, Randy, interesting that Dr. Prophet only owns two secret rare miles. Saw this on Omi... Burn daily spreadsheet. Do you know of any whale stacking miles secret rare? Um, I don't know. I, I know somebody that had asked me, hey Randy, Miles Secret Rare or the VV Golden logo? And I said, listen, if you're looking just for profit, I told this person, not saying anywhere else, but I just said, like, hey, if you're just looking for profit, just buy Omi. Um But then I said, but both of these will do extraordinarily well. Miles Morales will only grow in popular grow in popularity. But but so will Vivi. Like nobody knows who Vivi is, and the logo. A logo's down though. Lo logo I think was at thirty five hundred. Somebody floored that. It was bought up in a couple hours. <sighs> but uh, let's see what it is right now. Oh, I have five hundred nineteen collectibles. I thought I only had five twelve. Interesting. Um, actually, it's th thirty eight hundred now. Um. So yeah, I would say. That versus the miles is pretty. I think that's a, I think that's at six k though, fifty six hundred. Um, to give miles utility, I mean the people that have miles can give miles utility. VV, I don't think can at least not easily, just because because they'd have to go through Marvel for it. 
They they couldn't just just get, can't just give it utility. Um, Marvel could do it, but I, I will they? I don't know if that's in mind to do that. Um, but VV logo, I, I'm a little more. I have four VV logos. I do not have any miles. Just I'm just letting know what I'm doing. Um, but but both are good. Both both will both will go up as time goes on. Hello K says Alfred Kahn says hi Randy. Hello K got me so good this weekend. If y'all hadn't seen it, it was it was better live. But he throws up. Um, I, I see Al Khan coming in on the on the display. I was like, no heckin' way. And I and Al Khan's face appears like, and then everyone's like, oh. So, <laughs> so and then Kay takes his phone away from the camera. It's like, oh hey guys, like ah, oh, oh, I wanted to kick him off stream for that. But it was it was like one of the best clips. That that was I, I think Eva had had something like slightly funnier where it was like she got a, a a clip of me saying um, yeah I'm gonna try not to stream uh, I'm gonna try not to sleep on stream twenty four hours later. <sighs> Um, so, so they were, they were both really good. Kay, Kay had the good prank. Eva just spoke fun of me. They, they, they were both, they were both great though. Um, probably some people's favorite parts of the streams. PBS Kid says, I'm gone from YouTube for a week and you interviewed the U. Damn, Randy. I love this game. I interviewed the U. It was good. It was a good time. Free Kip says, what happened to KYC will fix bots? Um, they definitely fixed a lot of the bots, but because now some people are they have KYC accounts for sale that they're selling for like $25. Um, what they're going to implement at some point is saying in order to withdraw, you're going to have to re-KYC, reconfirm your identity. So, But KYC did put a stopper in a lot of bots. And now, you know, uh, they're going to do... Again, it, it's going to be a constant battle forever. Like, forever. Lars says, did he really pay? <laughs> I was probably watching stream in the shadows. I don't... I don't think he has time. He's just so busy. That'd be fun. That'd be fun though. Probably Son of versus Anaheim will be epic. Oh, you have no idea. No idea. Omi Child says, "Where was David? You interview? Um, it. I so I did it with him on stream, but VV Vibes recorded it and then uploaded it. So, uh, VV, it's on VV Vibes channel. All chat game is a street fire." Who's now marijuana? Says Randy, great idea. You should give one of your logos away in the most over the top way imaginable. They make people pay in to cover the price. Something that works for everyone, just to get them out there. Um, yeah, it could be something like do a silent auction, but have everybody whatever you pay. You you could donate hundred dollars if you want, um, or or you could bid whatever you want, and only the top bid, only the top winner gets it, and everyone else. And I'll have this huge disclaimer. Whatever you bid, you will pay. And even if you don't win, that that amount will still go to charity. I don't know if I could do that. Because, like, what if what if somebody bids, like, 5000 or, like, $10,000? Be like, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, n nobody else. Let's say the logo is only worth five k And nobody wants to bid, you know, 5 k for it. Someone's going to be like, I'm going to make sure I win this at ten k And it's still give it to a charity. And then somebody just comes in and be like, ah, 100 k you know, because, because th that, that, I, I don't know if I could do that. That would raise a ton for charity though. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see. I'll keep you all those. Ooh, my neck hurts. Hein Dizzle says we got Pokemon calling first. One day, I hope. Um, Jayco says brands should be calling VV at this point. I, I'm, yeah, I'm sure they are. I, I'm sure brands are, are, real, are calling VV. Like, I, I don't think Vivi has to really go in. Mr. MC1 says, add, I love O-Millionaire tees. Thanks for the MC1 tees for 12 people on MC1 day. Um, shout out to O-Millionaire. Yeah, O-Millionaire tees, just a straight up, absolute, genuine, good dude. Um, O-Millionaire tees. Oh, I'm actually not even following them. I'm going to follow them back. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty awesome. Um... I don't really know Omnitor Tees all that well, but did a giveaway, and I think that I think that they're a good person, though. Yeah. Ooh, Twitter Spaces of this week's town hall. So on October twenty eighth, 
at 10.30 a.m. Hold on. October 28th, Fiches, space, 10.30 a.m. Um, yep, yep. Uh, so be advised, that is when we will get a Fiches uh, Twitter space. You'll be able to go and participate in the town hall. Um, it's going to be from, all right, so announcement from Brock saying it'll be next, it'll be on Friday between 10.30 and 11. I'll be hosting a Twitter space for Fiches. I'm going to talk about some things that are upcoming as well as have a conversation with all the Fiche fam about season two. I hope you can make it. If not, it'll be recorded. If you cannot make it and have questions, please drop them in the suggestion ideas channel and I'll do my best to make sure they get addressed. Thanks again for a wild year, but we've still got November and December in season one. Can't wait for that. Um, Brock, well, you, you get so much value in that. Jayco with the $2 Super Chats coming in saying 5,000. Hit 5,000 comics today. Congrats, Jayco. That's, Jesus, that's incredible. Um, <laughs> like, that's absolutely wild. So, so proud of you. Um, Smarty Pants saying, or perhaps is one Pokemon tweet correlates with David just officially signing that deal with an A-plus tier Japanese brand that he said he was working on since 2017 since they were hesitant. Adds up. Would add up. J. Co. says zero storage space required. Two dollars super chat. Six to nine hour stream was awesome. Thank you so much, Jayco. Uh, you the man. I mean, it would add up again. I, I'm gonna assume we don't have it until they officially say we do because, just because, man. Um, yeah. Uh, Dog boy says, hey Randy, congrats on the six to nine hour stream. You're a beast. Comment down below for the sixty nine. Nice. Pablo says, getting rich is easy, buy Omi oh easy, one, two, three, yeah, getting rich is as easy as buying Omi, oh my god, I don't know why these hiccups, I did have a lot to eat, trying to, uh, uh, grow some muscles, um, the, the key is to try to grow muscles without gaining more weight, like, without gaining more fat, I got a lot of fat on me, so I'm just, whew. moving on, uh, blah, blah, blah. New York, says, so my brother, what up, New York, New York, Smarty Pants, hey, Randy, uh, do you want to see a video I took of my Pokemon collection before I sold it off too early in 2017? I think it would have been a million plus now. I sold it for years too early. Yes, actually. Send me that video. Because, yeah, send me that video. would very much like to see that. Wraithax with a $10 super chat. Saying smash that like button and comment. Yeah, smash it, smash it. Thank you, Wraithax, for the $10 super chat. You the man. Uh, oh, 69 viewers, 69 likes. <laughs> um... People be saying bullish, bullish AF. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Let's see what we got here. Blockchain just tweeted, Fisher's Town Hall, secrets will be revealed. Year two, questions answered, so much coming. You should probably talk. Can't wait for that. That'd be so cool. Oh, someone just redeemed two VV logos. That's interesting. Okay, so now there's got to be what? Like 300... 15 of them that were redeemed. Ooh, super congrats to them. Super congrats to them. Um, Hello K says, it might be someone from New York Comic Con. I heard they were given out a bit more sparingly at New York Comic Con than Decon. No tattoos necessary. So probably someone who bought an unredeemed one. Haha, -ha, see what mints they have. And just keep an eye on the market for those. They were, they were number 453 and 482. I... I want number 500 because I'd like to have those bookends. I also want number 69 because that'd be nice. Um, I want number 420. Mm -hmm. Palace Brendan Z says, was awesome indeed. Thank you for coming. All chat gaming. Pablo Sanamara says, it's spoopy season. It, this is Halloween. Dude, Halloween so much. PBS Kid says, did they say anything about dropping additional sets from the last decon? Uh, drops during this decon. I don't think they did, or if they did, I, I'm not privy to it. I didn't I didn't hear that. I'd be curious to see that. Ooh, my shoulder. Omar Kazaje says, let's go, Randy and Dashi. Let's get this bread. I love this game. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Yowza. This is this is not a good feel. Oh, I didn't do front raises. Oh, I didn't even do shoulders today, I just did chest. Derp. Big derp. My shoulder still hurt. Jayco, thank you for the $5 super chat saying smash that like button for the algorithm, for Al Gore's rhythm. Pablo says, what hotel do you recommend in Anaheim? I've only stayed there once. Uh, Marriott's are good. I, I, somewhere close to the convention center is where I'd stay. 
Diego says, I think poor people are speculating on Dr. Profit. Some people have millions to invest along with passion and vision. Dr. Profit is a legend. Agreed. Justin says, do you happen to get Dr. Profit to say bagel? I don't think he said bagel. Or I, I don't know his pronunciation of bagel. If he did, it wasn't around me. <laughs> Jayco's laughing. Omicron says, what's up, Randy? What up, fam? Uh, Shande Baskaran, give me those thumbs up. Energy, what up, fam? Peace. Paul Mansell says, just hopped in. Are we talking about a new interview or is the one you did months ago? Uh, the one I did a couple days ago. Um, yeah, the one I did a couple days ago was the one I was talking about. Pooski says, Randy, Randy, Randy. Was at Disney World lately with VV shirts on uh, of the few days, a few of the days, zero people noticed. Zero workers had heard of it that I asked. Proves we are early AF. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we early. Can't wait. Zombie attack news says, VIP, I'll be there. Get that bread. <laughs> Just says the number two hat comes with a chin strap. Imagine, could you imagine? Could not imagine. I mean, I could imagine. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is interesting. Okay, moving on, Cal. My collectibles, thank you for the $2 super chat, saying, uh, incredible marathon stream, congrats. I had a ton of fun coming on and watching all of your guests. Thank you for coming on. Um, so I, I feel like, so I think in the 33 hour stream, you had came on also, or no, I think it was a 16 hour stream. You had came on when Dave had, uh, after Dave had come on. Yeah, good times. Moving on, I'm excited, so today, is Masako Nozawa, 86th birthday, and she does Goku's voice with other characters too. Respect to anyone that does voice acting that brings millions of love and laughter to, to everyone. However, comma, I will say that if I, I can only, like there are certain animes that I can only watch in Japanese, or certain animes I can only watch in English. Um, for Dragon Ball Z, it's gotta be English because Goku is voiced by a woman in the J Japanese version, and I just can't. That's just that's just straight up no for me, dog. Um, fairy tale I can only watch in Japanese because the English version is just not as good. Uh, I think the same with uh, not Demon Wonderland. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins can I only watch that in Japanese. My Hero Academia can only watch in Japanese for the most part. I can watch it in English, but I don't like to. I don't want to. Um, trying to think of other things I can only watch in English. Pokemon, kind of, I like to watch in English, yeah. Subby Zero says, does anyone here know why they named the app Vivi? I mean, two repeating letters, two repeating consonants, two repeating vowels, ugh. Yeah, I don't know, it's easy to say, it's fun to say, Vivi, makes sense, I don't know. <laughs> Justin says it means voodoo. <laughs> Felipe B says, they looked after a word you can easily remember and pronounce in different languages. There's an old interview with Alfred and David where they talked about the name. I think it was Alfred's, if I remember correctly. I think so, too. Yuri Butler Butler says, hey, bro. What's up, fam? Um, Maxwell's Beer Money, one Twitter follow. And yes, Maxwell, you did get the $5. I mean, I, maybe I should do a thing where... I don't know if I can. Um, I was going to say... Oh, hold on. Here's a... Largest Pokemon collections ever. Oh, wow. 65,000 Pokemon cards? Okay, I see a lot of new cards. Let's see what he says. A golden Squirtle? <laughs> oh, that, if that's what I'm thinking of, that, that could actually be really worth a lot. Um... Okay, so we got some first edition base set here, Ghastly, uh, Caterpie. We got some Japanese stuff too. We got some Pokemon. That's a. That's to okay. So which flying Pikachu was that? Because that, if that was what I thought it was, it could actually be. It was not disregard. Um, Lugia, the Voltor. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, you know, there's some Japanese. You know, they're they're okay. Um, they're usually not worth a ton though. Oh, the Cadaver, maybe, and the Master Ball, maybe. 
Some of these I haven't seen, so I'm not sure how to value them, but also I feel like I know a lot of the valuable ones. Oh, do you have a... Yeah, some type of trophy card. I don't know what type of trophy card. You have a jumbo card. Special cards. Okay, those are actually really cool. Birthday Pikachus, Marrow stuff. I, this is actually strange. I actually don't... Oh, some e-reader cards. Those are cool. Neo Rev. Oh, Gold Star. Oh! Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. This right here is a Gold Star Espeon. Those are so... And he's got a Gold Star Flareon, but the Gold Star Espeon... The Espeon and the Umbreon are two of the most... Those are, like, the most coveted gold stars. Oh, he's got an Umbreon! Okay, he's got... Oh, oh, he's got an Umbreon right above a Jesus! That, that's that's tens of thousands of dollars. That That's, like, a... What, $50,000? $70,000? That's... In a, in a, in a high-grade, in, like, a PSA 10... Like, that's, that's so much. Okay. All right, dude's legit. Dude's legit. I I have seen one of I've only seen one of those in real life before. Um that that gold star that I've only seen in real life, I've only seen one. And it was when I did that trophy Kangaskhan deal. Okay, Team Rocket stuff, okay, some Venusaur stuff. That's cool. Surfing Pikachu. Let's see what else, yeah. Charizard, I don't think that's first edition. Oh, he's got a, a Ken Sugimori. This, this is a, basically a light trophy card uh, where it has the, it has Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos on there. I, I forget what that's card, what that's called, but I've had a few of those before. Oh, he's got the Masaki cards. Okay, so those Masaki cards that you see right there, you have, in, in Pokemon, there's only four Pokemon, there's four Pokemon that you can only get by trading. There is Gengar, there's Machamp, there's Alakazam, and then there's Golem. And in the games, if you have a Gengar, the only way to evolve is by trading. The Gengar evolves, or the the, the Haunter evolves into a Gengar, and, and then, you know, you trade him back. And same thing for those other three. So what Pokemon, the company did, is they said, hey, if you send us a Bills, a, a Bill card, or, yeah, Bills card, Bills parcel, whatever it's called, and then that Haunter will give you a special thing. They are almost impossible to find in PSA 10 because what they gave it to you, they gave it to you in this little pouch where on the corners, I forget which corners, it would always have a little dent on them. So they were impossible, almost impossible to get PSA 10. He has a few of those. Uh, and they also did Almastar as well. If you send in an Almanite with that Bill card, uh, you know, Bill's machine, the trading machine, they, they give you an Almastar. I guess they knew Helix Fossil was going to be a thing before Helix Fossil ever came out. But that, so... Those are not as special as the the Espeon and Umbreon Gold Stars, but they're they're still very very special. Oh my god, yeah, that so I'm like freaking out here. Um, so this this collection is actually actually very very legit. Like this, th these would be uh, th this collection would be well into the six figures. Like, like, easily well into the six figures. Um, oh, a, a Gold Star Gyarados also. That's really good. Um, these are some really amazing cards. And I don't... Oh, my God. Like, I... Apparently, there's a University Magic Carp in there. So if we go with... Uh, with Pikachu Illustrator as top of the top, then you have, let's say... Uh, the Pikachu trophy cards, you know, one, two, and three, those are considered like, you know, one. Um, first, second, and third place, I mean. So those, those are the top two, uh, or four, but but two if you think about it. Then you have either the trophy Kangaskhan or the uh, Super Secret Battle promos, which are Mewtwo cards. The Super Secret Battle and the, and the trophy Kangaskhan, I think trophy Kangaskhan is a bit better, like a bit more expensive. Um, but Super Secret Battle is like right there next to it. Uh, and then and then you would have the, the University Magikarp, the, the Unicarp, the, that... His his collection would definitely be in in the high six figures. Um, oh, the shining cards too. I mean, so these are not, and the shining cards are not. They're unlimited. They're not the first edition. 
Oh, wait, there's the Jap Oh, that Porygon, too. There's a Porygon one where... I, I know that's only worth, like, a couple grand, whatever, but, but that's still... Um, if these were in high grades... Yeah, yes, definitely in the six figures. If they if they were all, if they were all PSA ten, then yeah, yeah, it, it might it might be a million dollars a lot of money though. But but he's got oh my god, I'm gonna comment Jesus. Okay, so that is um, and also if everyone can go and smash that like button, smash it, smash it, smash it. Only delayed by a little bit. Uh, moving on, here. I don't know why it says sponsored. I'm not sponsored. Um, but wow. Got a universe of magic card, hard to see everything, but it's in a list. Oh, it sold at Golden Auctions. Oh, that, that Squirtle, what did that sell for? Oh! $61,000! Oh! I had the opportunity to buy a Golden Pikachu like that for $20,000. I didn't do it, and I, and I hecked up. So Max all the $5 Super Chat says, Beer Money, one Twitter follow. Um... I would do a, at some point, where if you wanted me to follow you on Twitter, I mean, I typically, if you just put out good content and, and you're just and you're just really nice and you're just part of the community, you know, I'll, I'll probably follow you. But uh, be advised, I only follow like 700-ish, almost 800 people and 30,000 people follow me. I'll, I'll never follow everyone that follows me. Um, but I don't want to say, like, give me $10 and I'll follow you. A and then I find out, okay, this person's actually a, you know, not a good person. You know, they're they're just you know, not someone I want to see in my feed, and then I unfollow them. Like, well, I'll give you ten dollars, and then like, I, so I'd I'd rather just not do that. Um, Subby Zero says, Justin, that is, <laughs> I'm gonna sit all. <laughs> oh, millionaire tees, what's up, baby fam? What's up, millionaire tees? Justin says, reminds me of my pocket monsters. Oh, I love pocket monsters. Maxwell says, my guy. Yo, what up, Maxwell? Eh, 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 eh. Oh God. So is there's Felipe B. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's definitely pleasant sounding. Thanks for the insight. The voodoo meaning is definitely interesting. I don't think it's meant for voodoo. Oh, God. Oh, I'm just stretching out the back real quick. Oh, my back hurts so bad. You're going to you're gonna look at me. You're going to look at my ugly face for a whole time now. Omar Kasaji says, saw those shirts at Target yesterday, and I thought of you, Randy. Oh, great minds. Think alike. Mr. MC1. Thank you for $5. Super Chat says, AD. I love O Millionaire Tees. Thanks for the MC1 Tees for 12 people on MC1 Day. Cheers. Danny DeBull says, when 100-hour live stream? I, I want it to be December. I just don't think that's possible. Um, just because everyone's going to be holidays and stuff. But we'll see. We'll talk about it. Orange Bag Lady says, what up, good sir? Back at it again. Orange Bag Lady. I wanted to. I wanted you to be on the stream. You didn't come on the stream. I miss you. Uh, says, what up, O Millies? Andre Bagley says, maybe give yoga a go, my dude. Best kind of workout for strength and trimming. Um, and she gave me those, you know, the um. um yeah, yoga's really, I, I have really bad knees and hips. Uh, yoga does not like me at all. I, my, yeah, uh, I, my body straight up does not feel good at all when doing yoga. Uh, which I know is supposed to be like that. Six to eight weeks, you'll feel better, but it's so hard. Mr. MC1 says, what up, OBL? Says, hello, hello, MC1. Prudential Security. Oh, my hip says, yo, yo, yo. NFT, me, Mickey Mouse, NFT. I'm stacking Mickey Gang coming soon. Stack it, stack it. Smarty Pants 187 says, just send the link to vid on Telegram, Randy. Thank you. Had the Umbreon too. Oh, God. Super amazing collection. Millionaire well, Tease, thank you, Mr. MC1. Says, when OBL popping up on Randy's stream? Yeah, when OBL popping up on Randy's stream? Um, I mean, whenever she wants, she's, you know, always got an open invite. Says, hey, you want to have me on one day? Yeah, sure, 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 fam. Do it. Smarty Pants says, yep, I have so many obscure cards in there. The trophy is a two of a kind from 1998. Oh, the University Magic card? Or the... Or which trophy? Um, Olivia's an alley boy. Oh, the Squirtle. Okay, okay, gotcha. Olivia's an alley boys has just noticed this is live. Happy Monday. Well, happy Monday, everybody. Oh, my back hurts. Oh, what time is it? All right. It is 8.59. It's almost 9 o'clock. We've been out an hour and a half. I'm just going to oh, go over some more comments from the YouTube and then the Twitter, and then we'll, and then we'll be done. Ah, moving on. 
go into some comments. Oh, there's no more comments. I'm done. Um, yeah, so when David Yu mentions A-tier lights, I, I had a... If you just want more content, check out my video before. It was like 20 minutes long, so be advised, kind of a long one. But 929 views the first seven hours. Very happy about that. Um, very nice. How much? Um, and then we're going to go here. And then we're going to see... All right. I'm good, yeah, I'm feeling all right. Baby, I'ma have the best tech night of my life. Ooh, Moran, okay. Um, Midable X tweeting about upcoming Twitter spaces. I don't think there's anything left. I think we're good. Yep, okay, we're good. Everyone, please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everyone say bye-bye to Dashi. Bye-bye, Dashi. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the super chats. Thank you so much for being here. And we'll do it all again tomorrow. All right, goodbye. Yeah, I thought it hurts.